Yeah, and if you take a look behind me, this is the Devil Gate Dam, Devil's Gate Dam. And if you look to the right, you'll see the reservoir, which is completely empty. Not a drop of water out there because of the drought. That UCLA study that you mentioned suggests climate change could bring us catastrophic rains and flooding. We wanted to know if we're prepared. So we met L.A. County Public Works officials at the Big Tahunga Dam. We're, we're on the crest of the dam and the reservoir behind the dam here. It's so low. Tell me about that water level. The water level is about a quarter of the total capacity be behind normal this year because of the drought. So it seems strange that at a time when we're deep into a drought, they were also talking about the potential for a mega flood in parts of California. A UCLA team studying this says the chances have doubled that an arc storm could hit us in the next 40 years. An arc storm? What is an arc storm? An arc storm would be one that try to imagine that where rain comes so fast and hard that you better build the arc. For decades, L.A. County Public Works has been preparing its stands for such an event while preparing for any flooding because of an oversaturation of the ground. There's always a possibility of flooding, flash flooding or an atmospheric river that can bring a lot of rain to the L.A. basin. We try in, to in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Imagine this downpour as you think about what happened back in the 1860s. The last big storm that was characterized as an arc storm was in 1862 that had rain for 30 days straight. It flooded large parts of California, including the Los Angeles Basin. As for the new study... Keep in mind that it's 1% of a chance each year that you could have a storm that big, and it grew to 2%. In, in a year. Which has been attributed to climate change. So the work goes on to try and always be ready. For example, they're removing sediment at San Gabriel Dam. Santa Anita Dam is getting a number of improvements as they add better technology to operate the dam and raise the top of it to handle more water. But system-wide... A storm of that magnitude would be more than this infrastructure can, can handle at once. That means that we need our residents and our agencies to be prepared for an extraordinary event. If you take a look at the flood kits suggested by Steve Frazier on your screen, it looks very much like a brush fire kit or an earthquake kit. Have a go kit, have prescriptions ready to go, pack pictures and documents, pick up a location that you could go to that's on higher ground. In other words, like always here in Southern California, it's good to be prepared. Marla, Christine, back to you.